There's the arc addition postulate. It sounds a lot like the segment addition postulate. This is the measure of the arc formed by two adjacent arcs. That's why you had to know what adjacent arcs are. Is the sum of the measures of the two arcs. So the measure of arc ABC in that diagram is equal to the measure of arc AB plus the measure of arc BC. Doesn't that look just like the segment addition postulate except it's applied to arcs? You guys remember the segment addition postulate? That's like way long ago for us. It makes sense. If we add those two pieces together, we should get the whole thing. So we need to find the measures of these arcs. So for A, they want us to find the measure of arc BC. How much? Why? Yeah, it's a minor arc. It's got to equal the measure of the central angle, so it's 32 degrees. We need to find the measure of arc BD. Why? Yeah, if we add BC to CD, we should get BD using the our condition postulate, so 32 plus 58 comes out to be 90. How about the arc A, B, C? Why? Because it's a semicircle, right. A, C is a diameter, so arc A, B, C has to be a semicircle, so that adds up to 180. As soon as we get a semicircle, we've got 180. And then finally, the measure of arc AB. Say that again? How'd you get that? Yeah, if we just take 180 minus 32, we're going to get the 148. Does that seem pretty straightforward? Yeah. Seems to be easier than what we've been doing the last couple of days. Identify the following in the circle. Oh, we need a minor arc. And there's more than one right answer here, of course, because it just asks for a minor arc, not all of them. What's a, which one? ED, e that's one. Is there another one? You see somebody else, is there another one? Okay, FD, is there another one? FD, yeah, is there another one? Yep, FD is a minor arc. Is there another one? BD is also a minor arc, yeah. Did anybody say BC yet? No. I think we've named just about every one of them. The one they picked was ED, and that's the first one you said, isn't it? I mean, that's the smallest minor arc up there, so that's probably the one that's going to jump out at us. A semicircle, there's probably four right answers for this. Let's pick one. Arc CBF, okay. They chose arc BFE. Are they both semicircles? Yes. Are they the only two? No. We could find a couple more. We need to find an acute central angle. Angle DOF. Is that acute? That's close. I, I don't know if I would answer that one. That's really close. DOE would, yeah, DOE is, uh, is, has to be acute. DOF looks like it's really close to 90 or just a, big, a hair bigger than 90, so I wouldn't pick that one if DOE is there. There's another one that's obviously, there's a couple more that are obviously acute too that aren't close. Uh, what, BOC and COD? They don't, I don't think, COD, uh, COD might be too close to 90 to call that one acute, but BOC isn't. They said FOE. Is that the first one you said? Yeah, see, I wouldn't pick that one because, man, that looks close to 90 degrees. I'd stay away from that one and go with the DOE. Find the measure of each arc in circle P. 
So we're given circle P with uh, the radii that are there, and we're given a 128 degree uh, central angle, and we're given the 90 degree central angle, and we need to find all these things. So sometimes when you're doing a problem like this, it helps to write down, to copy the picture, because we've got a whole bunch of problems basically wrapped up in one, to copy the picture and to write answers on the picture as you go along because it'll help you get all the other ones faster. So let's do that. So the first thing we're supposed to find is RTC. How big is RTC? One twenty-eight. Okay. Let's verify that. Wake my board back up. It always does this about the first second time I use it. There we go. Well, we got extra there. So we had TC at one twenty-eight. Do you agree that TBD, our TBD, is one eighty? Okay, that's kind of hard to mark, but it, we can mark something on here. If this is 90, how, how big is TB? If this central angle is 90, how big is arc TB? 90. And we just found out that arc TBD, TBD is 90, or is 180, right? So how big is arc BD? 90. Next question is, how big is arc BTC? So B to T to C. You just took the 90 plus the 128 and got the 218. Good. Okay. Can't really mark anything new on that. Next one they want to know is how big is arc CD? How much? How'd you get that? Okay, so you're looking at there's a semicircle TCD which is 180 degrees and you take away the 128 and you're left with the 52. Good. The board hung again. Here we go. Okay, now we need arc TCD. So T to C to D. Well, we've got that. That's slam dunk. What is it? 180. It's a semicircle, so it's just 180. And then arc DB. We already found that, didn't we? That's 90. We found that earlier. And arc TDC. T to D to C. Two thirty two, how'd you find that? Yeah, we've got one eighty from T B D plus the fifty two from D C. So if we just add those together we should get two thirty two. And three more here. Arc T B. We found that a long time ago, that's ninety. That's given in a central angle. Well, the board wants to sleep a lot today. Arc BC. How'd you get that? Yeah, Arc BC includes Arc BD, which is 90, and Arc DC, which is 52. So if we just add them together, we get the 142. And finally, Arc BCD, B to C to D. B to C to D goes this way. Yeah, it's everything except the 90 degrees that's here, right? So B to C to D is everything except the 90 degrees. So there's that um, related minor arc coming into play there. Instead of adding 90 and 128 and 52, we can just take 90 away from 360 if we want to. So that's 270. Any questions? Nope. That is all we need.